everyone, it's Rosemay, and you're watching Pardom Love, helping you become the very best that you can be. And today I'm here with Sean. Hi, Hi Sean, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice well to meet you. So it's nice talking to you. Talk to us about what's going on with our young people today and uh, some advice you may have as far as being financially independent and uh, working on creating a stable situation and environment for yourself. As I was telling her earlier, I think the problem is that the generation prior and the one before that, well, the last 20 years, is that the, the, the younger generation didn't listen to their parents as much as they should. Okay, and they, of course, you know, wasted their money and credit and so forth and so on. And one of my biggest influences was my mom. My mom is the one who taught me how to take care of money and how to use money. And there's a lot of old sayings from the 20, from 20 years ago that I'm sure you guys probably don't know. And you probably heard it once in a while and it might just bring back a memory. One of those sayings is that don't buy anything unless you can buy it three times over. That means if it's $50, make sure you have at least $150 before you purchase it. That way you always have money, okay? Don't put anything on your credit card that you can't pay for in the next 45 days. There's no reason or need to give Citibank or Chase extra money with their interest. That's a smart thing. If it's $250 and you don't have it now, wait till you have the $250, okay? Use your credit card. That way you have good credit, but pay the And you're building your credit. Of course. But you're building it responsibly. Exactly, and they and hate you for and, this. And you're not maxing out the credit no. card. No, and, and the credit card companies chasing the banks, they hate you for this. Okay, so let's slow out a bit. Okay. A great way to build your credit. Let's start in the, from the very beginning. You mentioned something very powerful. Spend less than what you earn. Of, of course, well, too That's many- That's basically too, what you're saying. Right, Spend too many, less too many of you guys earn. live above your means because of society and when I mean society I'm gonna say the first thing is hip-hop okay you guys will spend twelve hundred dollars in an outfit for seven hours and not pay your rent and you know well, I'm you know I'm a hundred percent right not all of them, but I said you guys I didn't say all of them I just said you guys okay. but they know who I'm talking about they laughing right now because they know someone like that as well you guys have to be a little bit more responsible know these key words there's a difference between need and want you have to learn how to prioritize. That way when you get to 50, 60, you have something. So when and you, you don't say need to get prioritize, make it clear. You're saying there's a big difference between needing something and wanting something. Yes. Needs are more important than wants. Always. That's what you're saying. Always. Okay. So that's But you also have to have that put your needs first. Yes. And you have to have that common sense to know the difference between your needs and your Do wants. You really need that new outfit. Exactly. Do you really need that new pair of sneakers? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so the second thing you mentioned, which is very interesting, you can build your credit, but it doesn't mean you have to live off credit and max it. Exactly. Talk a little bit about that. Right. So like I was saying is that um, <laughs> if something is uh, $300 or whatever the case may be, and you have the money, or you have the credit, I should say, don't just swipe it and build it and build it and build it, because all you're doing is building interest and all you're doing is making them rich. Just spend a small portion of the credit and pay it right back. Pay it right back. Or wait until you have it. Just, look, you have to have the 45 day window. You know when you get paid. This is how you budget. A lot of you guys don't budget. There's a monthly budget. Know what you're gonna spend your money on. Okay. Know what's more important. For your phone, your, your computer. Um, everything. Everything. Clothes, right? and, and, then, and then know what your flex money is. This is my going out money. This is my eating money. This is my flossing money, as you would like to put it. And you have to have the difference. You guys, I don't think that part in the last 20 years, I think that slipped a lot. And that's why there's so much trouble out there with that right now. So don't spend more than what you earn. I don't live above your, your needs. And also These are old sayings. And also so save. Old. Save. Yes. Even if you only save 5%, just save something. Last thing I want to mention, uh, ask you, because you have to get going, yes. is what would you say to someone? What advice would you give to young people today who are working to become financially independent and working to create a stable financial situation for themselves? What's the biggest advice you would give them? We didn't touch on a few very key points, but what would you say overall is the biggest advice? The biggest advice I would say is to be open to everything. And what I mean by open to everything is that a lot of people do well or get rich or whatever, they, just by an idea. And just because someone has an idea doesn't mean that you have to shut it down. Even if it doesn't seem practical, maybe you can make it practical. Okay, so just be open to everything. That's all I would say. Okay, very well.